What's going on guys? Today in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a alternator replacement. Uh, mine, on my speed actually, took a poop. So we have a replacement right here. Now this is a used one. It's off another speed 3. And so this sh should work just fine. guys before you guys start make sure you disconnect the battery because you do not want anything to happen guys okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is jack up your car from the passenger side take off the wheel because you're gonna need access to you probably can't see it Let's see if I can get some light in there so not this pulley but there's a pulley underneath Let's see if I can get it in there See that right there? Should be a pull right there. And I'll go ahead and show you from the uh, wheel side so you get more of a visual. Alright, guys, so here's the axle, there's a boot. And that pulley right there where that little bolt's at, that one right there is the one you're going to need to loosen up. So I believe it's clockwise to loosen. I'll double check in a second and I'll go ahead and show you. Alright guys, so before you start uh, doing anything with the tensioner, um, you want to go ahead and remove this bolt, that bolt. There's a bolt down here and there's one right here as well, right there. And then you have a little tab that you're going to have to like kind of you pull up on so you could take this little piece out so you take these off then you pull out take this off and you have more access to the actual tensioner, which is, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be that boy right there. So it's gonna be a 14 millimeter socket to loosen that up, and it should be clockwise to loosen it up. And I'll go ahead and do that, or well, we'll do that right in a second, to let you guys or get a confirmation on that counter or clockwise. Guys, when you guys uh, remove this portion of the shroud, we also remove this bolt or nut that sits here that holds these lines here. It's just this one. You, you do not need to remove these. Just remove this one which sits right there. It comes right up in there. Just like that. And it gives you a little bit more space so, you could able, so you're able to fit a, um, a ratchet in there of this size. Just FYI. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and crank it clockwise. And what it does is it's its own little like lifter type thing. So when you pull it, probably can't see, but you can see the belt loosening or flexing a little bit. So you <sighs> turn it. like that you should be able to slide this thing out be very careful not to loosen it up on the other side because this is one whole belt from what I'm able to see here just be very careful on that and then just slowly let it go prevent anything else from getting loosened. As you can see already, that top, this one right here we got loose, loose from this running belt there, but I know where that goes, so I'm just gonna pop it back up in there. That way it doesn't screw up or anything. 
As you can see, uh, this belt right there got loosened. That one right there. So you want to go ahead and make sure nothing else gets loosened because you don't want to start working on another issue. All right, so I have this little um, angle bright plier holding on the bolt on the belt. And then we're gonna loosen that bolt up right there. And then there's another bolt slash stud right on the other side there. There's this whole bracket that we gotta take off. So I'm gonna take off this one first and I'll show you where the other ones are in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and use my phone for this one so I can show you. Here's the top of the alternator. And then if you look down here, that is gonna be the next bolt that you're gonna need to remove. And that's gonna be a 10 millimeter as well. 10 millimeter as well. So we took off the heat shield here. We don't have to. Um, and I also took off the uh, coolant reservoir. It's just two little tabs. This one pops off. And then this one on this side has a little tab that you have to kind of pry up. So what I ended up doing is I grabbed a flathead and I just grabbed it from this actual plastic here and then I, I pulled up on it and then pulled up on the reservoir at the same time so here that's that silver piece is a piece that sits over the alternator and it's a little housing or shroud that goes in over it now we took it off from the underside of the car the, the bottom because you have way more space down there than you do up here so just FYI on that one do is this little plug has a little clip on that little piece right there is a little clip it just clips off now be very be very careful um, it shouldn't matter but it's beneficial because it covers it from any moisture you could say um, as it does cover the bolt underneath and that is the positive wire so we're gonna go ahead and remove that nut so this is gonna be a 13 that pops off and then this is gonna be a clip on a clip on wire See if I can show you guys. Right there. It's gonna be a clip on wire. So you wanna go ahead and press it and then pull at the same time, just like any other wire that's on the car. And yeah. So you have that bolt right there. That's gonna be a 13. And then you're gonna have that bolt right there, which is gonna be a 10. You wanna do that again? Huh? Oh, you already. <laughs> yeah, I re recorded. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be a uh, a 10 on that side, on the on this side, and then a 13 on that side. I still gotta remove the clip, but just wanted to show you guys. So you're gonna have this one right here. I'm gonna show you guys from the bottom, that way you get a better visual. Yeah, that right there, and then that that little bolt right there and up here you have that harness clip and you have that um, that positive wire that's gonna get to the top top end so we loosen these up already I'm gonna go ahead and take this off this looks to be like a, a bracket of some sort that holds on this cable and uh, yeah let's go ahead and take this off so, real quick uh, so you're gonna have that bracket. Let's see if I can get this. You're gonna have this bracket right there. That bracket which slides right off. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Hold on. So this slides right off the top. This will slide off. So you take that off, and you're gonna have this bolt for the stud after. So that's gonna be another uh, 14. So it's gonna be a 14 and you loosen it up. And be very careful because once you remove all these studs, this thing might fall on you. I'm still waiting to see on the clip. I might take it off when, once we're able to kind of flip it around. So I'm gonna probably try it that way. All right guys, so when you're removing that clip, there's that right there, that clip, you press it in, you depress it, and then you wanna just wiggle it out. You wiggle it until you're able to take it out. It might be a little stubborn. It looked easy for us because we had already taken it out. We were just showing you. But it might be a little stubborn. Just press on that little tab, as you see right there. 
Don't right go there. at it hard because you break off. Yeah, don't go ahead and use a flathead because it's a just broken piece hand. off of it. Just use your hand, depress that little tab there, and then just wiggle it out. Now we have a bolt on top holding the whole alternator still in place. And we're not we're gonna remove that one bolt that's on top now. Alright guys, so I removed the bolt that sits for the uh, AC line here. Now we took it out from the top side with that off. Now if you're gonna do it that way, we found it easier and we just want to take it out. But if you're gonna do it this way, be very careful with this line because it could go completely south if it breaks. So this is off the car, now we're gonna put the other one on. All right, so I'm right now I'm cleaning this alternator. It came a little dirty, it is a used one. Um, it came off another car, another Speed 3 or CX-7. And typically what happens is well, the axles tend to rip and uh, the grease gets all over it. So I'm just cleaning it. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and just blow it. And yeah. should sit in the orientation of the alternator so I'm going to try to squeeze it back in here the same way I took it out Now be careful because this tends to slide off the little gasket that sits in between the cover and the alternator here. I believe it's like a, a cooling system of some sort to cool it. So just be aware of that because it'll tend to slide off. Alright guys, so I have it in here now. Now what I'm going to do is get the... Uh, a stud and try to put it on the top so we can hold it in place and see if we can get it first. So I went ahead and put that bottom bolt right there and the top one we put first so that uh, we could line it up easier. Now all we got to do now is put the plug back in the connector, the positive connector onto the terminal on the alternator and then we have to put the other stud on this side and that hole right there and so we're going to go ahead and do that first this bracket also goes back on that one right there that one goes back on and then uh, we're going to go ahead and put the belt back on uh, so we got the we got the stud behind this bracket right there. Let's see if I could make it a little easier. Okay, so we got the stud that goes behind this bracket right there. Already uh, bolted and torqued. And then we put the bracket on top of it, which sits on the top side of the stud. And then you have that little nut that goes on top of that bracket to hold it in place. And then you have this this stud right here as well that's put back in place the plug is already plugged in the positive terminal nut is being tightened as we speak and then there's the top side the top let's see if we can see it I don't think we can see it alright guys so now you're gonna have that top the top uh, stud that's gonna be point one back in which is gonna be that one and then after you do all that and everything's already bolted, we need to put the uh, the black shroud that goes around the alternator to keep it from overheating and getting enough cooling. 
which is that one. So let's go ahead and put this back on and uh, we'll see how it looks at the end. Back, this is the bottom. Here's a heat shield for it. So you want to bring it in this, let me see. Bring it in like that from the bottom side and then pull it to the top and try to just pivot it to round it around to go around the top side. Be careful because there's a, a little bracket up there that's really fragile. So once you're able to pivot and rotate it, you should be able to be able to get this on. Just like that. So you want this piece to connect to that piece. So just like that. There you go. So because this has to go over that piece because like I said I think uh, it's supposed to help it cool as it's spinning and it should just show all the air, all the hot air out. If, it, if that's how it works. So that's why you want to be careful with the other bracket too because it holds the whole thing, the whole assembly in place. So just go put it, push it in from the bottom up and then pivot it in here and then you'll get it back on there. So, all right guys, so if I didn't mention this earlier, I'm going to mention it real quick. So there's this bracket that sits from the, the black shroud assembly that sits over the alternator to prevent the heat from the downpipe and also to redirect any air that's coming off the alternator as it's spinning. So there's this bracket there. You have to unbolt that, or in this case, we're putting it back together, so we're bolting it back up with this nut. And on the bottom, you're gonna have, I don't know what's that here. You're gonna have that one right there, that black piece right there. So you're gonna have that nut that sits over the stud that you take off, and then you replace back on. And that's basically how you take that black piece off. So the belt moved on us a little bit. So we kind of tried, I'm gonna try to see if I could help you guys visually see this. So this top belt here goes underneath this pulley. And then you have that bottom one, which it's gonna be sitting underneath, which is a tensioner pulley. And it goes all the way over here on this side. And then you got, so you have the tensioner pulley right there is gonna go over here and go around this and that's gonna go on the bottom side uh, let's see if I can get this to work for you let's go on the bottom side over here around this pulley and that and this is gonna follow towards the last end of the pulley and go straight up which is gonna be hitting this pulley here. So hopefully that kind of helped you guys out. We had to figure it out, but hopefully it kind of helps. We never took off the ratchet that we left here. It should be clockwise, so it should be going down. And so we wanna, you wanna pass me the scooter, scooter thing? So I like to use this scooter handle to kind of give me leverage here because it, it does help. So I'm going to go ahead and move it here. You want to hold the phone real quick? Just hold it in this position. And so I'm going to go ahead and move it and then try to pop this sucker back on. It's about, so it's gonna take a little bit of play. Okay, that's on there. Gotta leave it like that. You wanna see if you could put the top side on? Yeah. Alright guys, so that's basically it. This doesn't have to be unscrewed or screwed in any way. It's just its own little tensioning, uh, like a, think of it of a spring. So when you move it, this, there's a really strong spring that compresses and it makes it loose. Once you let go of the spring, it tightens up and then it's all fully engaged. Basically just think of it that way. So this, the belt's already on here. It has its own tension. So it's already, it's not gonna come off. So it's on there now. 
and uh, we're just gonna take this off and then turn or turn it over. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna prime the vehicle so that it turns it and hopefully. Ah, <gasps> uh, oh, my battery's low. So, anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime it now. Alright guys, so from this point now, you just want to go ahead and put everything back together and put the shroud back in here. Now, there's a little alignment here. You can think of it as an alignment that goes pops right in there. And helps you put it in place. And you're going to have that bolt there and that bolt there. One right here on the bottom and one on the other side on this side. Yes. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and put the AC line back on. Be very careful with this. This slides right over here, that sits on top, just like so, and the, that goes there, bolt sits right on top. Okay, now we gotta put the coolant reservoir back on, and this is pretty much simple, this just slides right in place. So you have this part, this portion that slides right in that little tab. And then you have that tap right there that this part slides in. So go ahead and put that. Okay, now you guys don't have to remove the heat shield that sits on top here. Um, we did because I, I felt like it'd be a little easier to see. Um, so it's up to you. So we're gonna put it back on there, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and prime it so we could turn the belts and make sure that they're good. All right, guys. So now. Now we're going to go ahead and reconnect the battery, do the positive or the negative first and then we're going to do the positive. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on, I need a 13. Right. So this is a 13 because this is a different connector than the normal. So this concludes the end of this video. If you watched the whole video and this helped you in your alternator replacement for your either your CX-7, your Mazda Speed 3, or your Mazda Speed 6, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and share it for your, with your fellow Mazda Speed enthusiasts that need to have their alternator replaced. That being said, if you are new, please subscribe as I will be making more videos in the future, especially DIY videos because I have some upcoming videos that I want to share with you guys. So those of you that like to sh save money, you could, you know, watch these for your benefit. Uh, that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, you have a blessed day. Georgie out. Peace.